September 15, 2013. She was crowned a Miss America and now she joins us live. Super great having you with us. And how has this crown changed your life? It looks good on your head. It's been such a whirlwind of a tour. It's been absolutely incredible. And uh, one of the best parts of my job is I get to serve as the National Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And oftentimes I've been able to visit many hospitals across the country. And oftentimes um, when I walk into a room, the children don't necessarily know who I am or what I am. Um, but all they see is that a princess has walked into the room for a day. And to see those genuine heartfelt smiles on their faces is really one of the best parts of my job. Well, I have to say you have such a beautiful heart and I have to ask how have these kids since you've got to interact with them changed or impacted your life? Oh my goodness, to be fearless, I think really. And I was able to spend uh, a lot of time with many of them for a week-long ambassador tour. And they choose, uh, CMN Hospitals chooses one child from every state. They call them champion children. They're flown out via Delta Airlines to Walt Disney World. We spend a week there. The moms are pampered by Chico's and they get accessories and everything, which is really nice. And then um, they also we also fly to DC and um, stay at the Marriott and do a DC tour. And so just spending so much time with them and really promoting CMN hospitals and um, how, how, how they've benefited from it is really, um, is, is really heartwarming to hear their stories. Well, it truly is. And I know your story is very inspiring. Tell our viewers about your background. I am the first Miss America of Indian descent. I was born in Syracuse, New York, but both of my parents immigrated from India about 30 years ago. And so to really kind of, you know, it, it is a huge part of me. My culture is very important to me. And so to kind of tie that in to my platform and this organization and really reach out to a new demographic of young women, I think, is what I wanted, uh, was my goal for this year. And I certainly feel like that's been accomplished. Well, I know you talk about it often, but how do you suggest we come together from different cultures? Right. So, you know, one of the biggest things I've learned, even in my journey growing up in an Indian household, I suppose, is that assimilation really has to happen from both sides. And I think to be able to welcome questions, answer questions, and also ask questions is really important from both parties to be able to have that open and honest conversation and demeanor. Well, that certainly is great insights. I think it's a great platform that you stand on. Thank you for all that you do for the kids to inspire them. But before you go, inspire us a little bit. Given all your success, what advice would you give to others pursuing their dreams given what you've learned on your journey? To be fearless. You never know what opportunities will come your way if you don't go after them. Um, and to also be, be yourself and stay true to yourself. And that's so much easier said than done. And it's so easy to lose yourself, especially in today's society. So to know who you are, love who you are, and stand up for who you are. Well, I'm certainly glad you do that. I have to put a shout out to you. I know you graduated from the University of Michigan. Go blue. Yes, go blue forever. Thank you. Take care.